Well, it's not surprising then that uh, due to previous um, objections that we put down, because of the inert landfill cannot be guaranteed, uh, effectively they are on the hook to create a waterproof barrier surrounding the pit that goes right down about 10-11 metres underground to the clay strata which is itself waterproof. And this creates effectively a massive bathtub filled with inert waste. Well unfortunately uh, that bathtub itself now causes significant problems related to flooding because the groundwater that flows in the gravel layer can no longer flow freely um, through Shepparton and the Ash Basin down to the Thames because the bath acts like an underground dam banking water up and forcing it to the surface. Uh, then surface rainwater um, which comes down can't be absorbed by the ground because clearly it's full of inert waste and it, because it, can, uh, it sits within a bathtub the water simply fills the bath and once it's filled, it's filled uh, which means that at some point in the future, which won't be that far away when rainwater comes down onto the site it will simply run straight off the top well at that time unfortunately then the drainage ditches that they've uh, put forward cannot carry water away because the ash and the Thames into which they're supposed to drain will have risen themselves and water has a great deal of difficulty flowing uphill as you well know but seems to have escaped Semex and the Surrey County Council planners. So water will cover the site and if there are toxic agents in the bathtub it will tend to mix with that water so you could end up with toxic water in lakes and lagoons on the surface. Lastly, the river water. Uh, the Thames and the Ash will rise uh, in bad weather conditions and they'll back up um, the Ash particularly and that will cause flooding. And you've now got flooding in the area as well already from um, ground and surface water. So we do have three effects working together in concert that together create a flood risk.